Hey, it's Liz from Blue and Hazel, and today I want to share one of our favorite math games to play. It's called Even Stevens Odd, and it is a dice rolling game. So I will walk you through how, um, how to play this and what comes inside of it. It's really simple, and I think it's one of, one of the ones that you're going to want in your game kit. We really enjoy it. My second and third grader can play it together, um, and then they also like to play it individually with me. And my kindergartner can also play this. Um, he can only do the more easy cards in there, which they have, um, it's really easy to separate what the easy cards are because there's a little red star on the corner. And so I will just kind of show you what's inside and how, uh, how fun it is to play. But they're going to be doing um, some addition for the bigger kids. They're going to be doing even and odd practice. They're going to be looking for patterns. It doesn't take long either. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look inside and I'll teach you how to play. Also, if you enjoy this video, if you can give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more game videos and more homeschool videos. And I will leave a link for you in the description. All right, when you open up the box, inside you're gonna have this funny little creature, uh, Steven. You're gonna have all of these cards. You'll have four different colors of dice holders here. And so each player would get their own color. You can play with up to four people. But um, most importantly, you wanna have players playing kind of at a similar level um, just to avoid sadness. And to show you how this game is played, I will pretend like there's two players. So blue, I'll be blue, the opponent will be green, and um, everybody is going to get three white dice and three dice that matches their board color. So mine will be blue, my opponents would be green. And then this little thing stands somewhere where people can equally grab it quickly off to the side here. And so how it works is you have this stack of cards and it's gonna have a challenge. And so the first person to complete the challenge grabs Steven and says, even Steven's odd or whatever. Their challenges are divided into easy ones with the red star. So I recommend um, if you are just playing with older kids, I recommend just sorting them, you know, evenly. And then if you have younger kids and you know what they know and what they don't, but if you have younger kids, like with my kindergartner, I only use the red star cards with him. And so, um, those are the easier ones, but I'll give you a look at what some of the cards are like inside before we do a quick little round. All white dice are odd and all colored even. So we would have to roll until we got all of the odd dice, uh, all of the white ones being odd. And once you get them, you stick them on there and all of the colored dice even. So I would put anything I rolled that was colored like that. So we would keep rolling as fast as we could until white dice odd, um, colored even, white odd, colored even. So I could keep the white odd, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Okay, I got an even one. So I'd say even Steven and I'd grab it. And then um, this person would be rolling as fast as they could as well, trying to beat me. The person who wins has the most cards at the end. And um, then another example, you would be rolling um, three pairs of any number. So this one would have like a uh, suggested black and white pair, black and white pair, black and white pair. So you could roll until um, you have three pairs of any number. Got fours, and Luffy got fives. Now, oh, <laughs> got sixes. So now I'd say even Steven, and this person is doing the same thing. Six of a kind. Um, here's a few more examples of the cards that you'll see. Striped straight, all twos, five dice are odd, one dice is e one die is even, um, this would be good even in odd practice, maybe a little bit too hard for my kindergartner, but definitely um, good practice for like a first grader. All colored odd, all white even, six of a kind, all threes. So you kind of get an idea of the easier cards. And um, then let me show you some of the harder cards and why I love this game for our homeschool with my bigger kids too. Okay, so for the harder cards, um, total of the colored dice is less than the total of the white dice. This one is a little trickier, so that can be a lot of different combinations. And 
Um, so I'm looking down here at my dice thinking, okay, I want little numbers for the colored dice and big numbers for um, the white ones. So one plus one plus two would be four. And then we have 11. So dark is less than the white added up. So then I would be able to stick them in here. Color block straight. So one, two, three white dice and four, five, six black. You have to roll till you get that. Um, colored add up to 15, white add up to seven. Um, colored are ones, white sixes, all add up to 10, all add up to 36. Um, colored are fives, whites, twos, total of colored more than the total of white, colored threes, whites, fives. So they're just looking for pattern recognition, but there's also some addition going on. I like, I like um, the variation. My kids think it's really fun. So just wanted to pass along a game that um, we can sometimes do this just for fun, but also it's a game that we sometimes enjoy doing when math is just not happening or if we had an easy math day um, or the worksheets aren't working out that day or something, we'll just pull out a math game and we really like this one. So once again, I'd say my biggest tip for this would just to be um, separate the easier cards from the harder cards if you have littler kids. My biggest recommendation would be if you have kids that are on really different levels, probably just play one-on-one. -on -one. And then if you have kids that are um, able to do similar types of problems, then they could play together, but otherwise there might be a little bit of an unfair advantage to the older kids. Hope you love this game. I'll leave the link in the description for you.